this is one for the record. I'm Diana, and today is Friday, Friday evening, February 17th, 2012, and we've made it to the weekend. It's the, the eve of the weekend. Hooray! All right, let's, uh, let's, uh, Extinction Protocol 2012. Here's your update. U.S. seismologist testifies against scientists in Italy quake manslaughter trial. Scientists failed to advise residents of being in a high-risk area. A trial is over uh, earthquake deaths. Well, heads up, scientists. I guess uh, anyone, if anyone knows about, uh, I guess, any radiation coming over to the United States or anywhere in the world, I guess, and you fail to warn the residents, I guess you might be going to uh, uh, court also and for manslaughter, TEPCO, all of you. Hmm. That's what, it, that's what it tells me. So heads up, scientists. You failed to warn people about the radiation or earthquake faults or whatever else is going on. <coughs> I guess then uh, someone's going to be able to take you to court. Oh, that's funny. A U.S. seismologist testifies against scientists in Italy. Well... Just heads up, all you scientists, especially when it comes down to radiation. That's all I have to say. Russia says, here's a new one, Russia says it will use nuclear weapons if war broke out with NATO. Hmm. New study finds ingested nanoparticles more dangerous than previously thought. In food and pharmaceuticals, billions uh, ingest, uh, billions of nanoparticles are ingested by humans daily. And this is a Cornell research. They're finding out it's not, not good for you anymore. Oh, you think? <laughs> Sot.net. Saturn's rotation observed to slow down. Instrumental error ruled out. So everything is going on the slow mo. Wonder what could cause that. There was supposedly weather on Venus that was slowing it down, but wouldn't another gravitational uh, body in our solar system could that be slowing us down? Might be. I guess it's that Nibiru theory, maybe. Uh, Mary, uh, Maryland, U, U.S. Hundreds of dead birds on I-95 in Laurel. And it was starlings this time all over the, the highway. So we still have dead birds uh, dropping out of the sky, along with the dolphins and everything else. Okay, then I went on to uh, Paul Begley's channel. And he had on there, Woman Catches Legionnaire's Disease at Dental Office. <coughs> and this was in Italy. And it was from the water lines in the dental office. So, uh, heads up on that. I guess it's not just from air conditioning units and stuff like that now. It's hanging out in the little, uh, the little sink water th stuff in the dental office. Well, at least in Italy it is. <coughs> My goodness. Also, he had on his uh, channel uh, Obamacare. Let's just say, oh. It's March 23rd, 2013, 666 microchip implant, the RFID chip. 
and he's he's saying that on page HR 3200 page 1004 of the Obamacare uh, package there that was over a thousand pages he's saying that the chip is not just gonna be your uh, medical records not just the medical records it's also going to be linked to your bank accounts huh well for some reason your bank accounts and social security number and everything is going to be in that RFID chip and supposedly it's going to be go into effect he's saying March 23rd 2013 Well, I guess that gives you about a year <laughs> to save up enough money to have a bank account now. <laughs> oh, and I guess it has GPS. So I guess, just like with the animal shelter, I guess, what you do to your dog or cat, I guess they're going to be doing it to us. And he's saying it's HR... 3200 article something section something page 1001 to 1004 not sure but I I put a few favorites up there with the birds and Paul Bagley and uh, go ahead and go up to my uh, favorites click on that and it's kind of you know I, I, I favored some videos so well everybody have a wonderful weekend have a wonderful rest of the Friday night the eve of the weekend and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow have a great night <laughs>